how's everybody doing today and as you can see we're gonna be rebuilding the los angeles dodgers a team that has a really good core let's see if we can get those final pieces to get them that with that world series title so if you guys want to see some more rebuilds make sure you hit the like button down below subscribe if you're new and enjoy the content and as always in the comment section let me know which team you guys would like to see next so getting into it like i said the dodgers have a really good core that i want to build around there's just a couple pieces i want to move um change like a couple positions move kind of it's mostly just contracts because again we like i've said multiple times we have a good core um i just want to trim some of this like salary that we have so that we can pick up some players and we can also pay some players that i already know we're gonna have to in the future clayton kershaw i'm cool to see out his contract see how he does um rio might be a player i tried to do like another two seasons with russell martin's probably done um justin turner i'll let his contract run out um, just because he actually hits very well, um, normally around 300 anyways. AJ Pollock's a player I'm going to look to trade. I have a center fielder in mind that I already want to go after, and I think we should, we could get him. Um, Joe Kelly's probably a player I'm going to try to trade as well. Just really not feeling his stats or anything like that. Um, and then really for the contracts, maybe Kenta Maeda is another player that we look to trade. But outside of that, I feel like we're good um, contract-wise. It's not too bad. But I know we're going to have to pay Cody Bellinger. We're going to have to pay Corey Seager soon. So I want to be able to have some salary for that. So looking at the starting pitching, we got some good young arms. Dustin May, Dennis Santana, uh, Yadier Alvarez. We got some good young arms that could potentially feature. Um, really, Kenta Maeda's and Rich Hill are the two pitchers I'd, ra I'd rather replace. So we'll see what we have to do there. Bullpen-wise, it's not terrible. Um, Dylan Floro is always a really good arm. Um, Caleb Ferguson usually develops quite well. Julio Urias um, should develop quite well. Um, but overall, not terrible. Kenley Jansen's a solid closer. Um, catcher, we'll stick with Austin Barnes for now. We'll probably need to find a new one until uh, Kbert Ruiz is ready. First base, Max Muncy. I'm fine with that. That's a good first baseman for us. Second base, Kike Hernandez. I know he's really well liked in Los Angeles for the Dodgers. But I may see if we can find a new second baseman just because I feel like um he no he sometimes drops in rating so what we may find a new one third baseman like i said justin turner's good um but we may have to find a new one once his contract expires Corey seager is gonna be our shortstop no doubt about it um we could always move chris taylor to second um because he can play that spot you guys can see that there we also have drew jackson and gavin lux left field jack peterson i'll give him a couple seasons see how he does if he doesn't do well then we'll end up needing a new uh, left fielder Sometimes he does really well, sometimes he does really bad, so we'll have to see how that goes. Like I said, AJ Pollock's probably a player I'm going to be looking to replace. And right field, we got Bellinger and Verdugo. We're set. We don't have to worry about anything there. So, with that being said, I do have a couple trades in mind. Let's get those done for the first season, and I'll catch you guys in a sec. First trade, we're going to be getting a new starting pitcher, one who's really tearing it up this season, and Lucas Giolito from the Chicago White Sox. He's not the highest rated, but he's young. He should develop. His stats are actually pretty solid already. We're trading Maeda uh, Zastrinzi. Zastrez. We're going to call him Rob. Rob's gone. I don't like his last name. That's another reason why we're trading him. And then Will Smith is also being traded. So we're getting a new starting pitcher. George Springer is going to be our new center fielder for Kike Hernandez and AJ Pollock. Um, I did say AJ Pollock was definitely a player I wanted to trade. We're getting a new, star new starting center fielder for like the at least three seasons um he normally does very well he's he usually gets like goes higher in rating as well um he's got a two-year deal we'll see how things go after that but for now new starting fielder new starting center fielder so season one's gonna look like this kershaw bueller hinjin ryu rich hill and lucas giolito our bullpen looks of looks like this with urias stripling kelly Baez, alexander ferguson floro and kenley jansen when we look at the lineup I really like it. Um, Jack Peterson, Max Muncy, Turner, Ballinger, Springer, Corey Seager, Chris Taylor, Verdugo, and Barnes on the bench. We got Fries, Ju Drew Jackson, and Russell Martin. Um, obviously, when we go against lefties, I really don't want Jocks leading off. So we'll probably go with Chris Taylor. Um, we have we have a really lefty-heavy lineup. So that might be something we look to change. Um no, nah, we'll leave it. We'll leave it. I, I like I like the team. So this that's season one. See you guys at draft day. Season one's draft, very good. Ricky Ernst, 67 overall, 87 potential, solid pickup. 
I think I may have drafted my best ever catcher. Barney Fisher, 72 overall, 88 potential. Fielding looks solid already. Contact stats versus lefties looks good, but I think this guy's going to be a beast. Tommy Ar Aristi, 62 overall with 85 potential. Um, Damian St. Odd, 69 overall with 86 potential. Solid draft. All right, season one deadline. Joe Kelly, I completely forgot I wanted to trade him because of his contract. He's got like seven, eight, and nine million for the next, like this season and the next two years. So we're going to go to the Mariners for Arodas Vizcaino. Um, he's having a solid season. Maybe be our setup guy. Um, so yeah, the new bullpen arm. Season one's over and we finished the season 104 and 58. We're taking on the winner of the wild card. So let's go see how the season went. League leaders, Clayton Kershaw looks like he pitched. A phenomenal year, but no award. So let's take a look at the pitching rotation. Clayton Kershaw, a one whip, 256 ERA, just under 200 strikeouts. Like, how is that not Cy Young numbers? That's crazy. Walker Bueller, the ERA is a little high, but I know he's going to continue to develop and get better. So I'm not going to, I'm not going to freak out just yet. Hyunjin Ryu, solid numbers as well. It says he's going down, but I'd still give him another like two, season or two. Like th those are gross numbers. Those are unreal. Rich Hill. Struggled a little bit. He also went down like 15 overall. So um, I expected him to kind of struggle. And then Lucas Giolito, solid numbers. You know, he went up quite a bit this season. Um, good strikeout numbers. Uh, I mean, a little low, but I definitely expect him to get better. Um, decent ERA, 3.6 is not bad. The whip's a little high, but definitely not, not something I'd freak out about. Julio Urias, kind of tempted to make him a starter. I think that might fit him a little bit better. Ross Stripling, eh, not terrible. Baez did quite well. Scott Alexander struggled. Dylan Floro struggled a little bit. Caleb Ferguson struggled a little bit. Vizcaino looks like a good setup guy. And then Kenley Jansen is just lights out. Quickly, let's take a look at the lineup. Jack Peterson. This is like what people expect from Jack Peterson. And like these, these are good numbers. So I can keep him on the lineup if he continues to do that. Max Muncy, not terrible. Um, we'll keep an eye on him, see how he does. Like I said, Justin Turner, he may go down in overall, but he's still going to give you a solid like 300 average with good numbers. He, he does it again. Cody Bellinger put up very good numbers. George Springer put up good numbers. Corey Seager put up good numbers. Chris Taylor, those aren't bad numbers either. Almost identical to Corey Seager. Verdugo, not, not terrible, especially for a player who's under 70 overall. Austin Barnes struggled a bit. Um, and then our bench there. So really... Um, I think really the only prospects that we have are like pitching prospects. And we got a couple that are growing fairly quickly. Um, so definitely some players to keep our eye out for. So let's get into the season, uh, the postseason. And we're taking on the Nationals. Okay. Well, let's see how this goes. Oh, okay. Game five, elimination. We'll, we'll do a quick little manage. See how season one goes. And uh, yeah. So it's got to be Kershaw. We can't let Giolito come in just yet. So let's see how it goes. Alrighty. Two run bomb, really. Come on. Alright, we got first and second ourselves. And then we go and hit a double play. Okay. Another double play? Back to back double plays. Really? First and second, one out. Again. Alright, we tie the game. George Springer triple. We take the lead. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Come on, Kershaw. Let's hold this lead. Perfect. Solo home run. Max Muncy. There we go. First and second. And another double play. Are you serious? All right. Kershaw got us through six. So I think that's going to be plenty for him. Uh, we could actually. No, he was about half stamina. We could probably go one more with him. There we go. Seven. We're going to pinch hit. We're going to keep it. Um, we're going to keep it smart. So we're going to. Let's see who we got. We got David Freeze. Might as well let him swing the bat. He flies out. Awesome. Solo home run again, Max Muncy. All right. Gives us a three-run lead. Eighth inning. We're going to go to Vizcaino. All right. He only allowed one. We still have the two-run lead. So we get a walk there. A strikeout and a double play again. We're going to shut it out with Kenley Jansen, hopefully. There we go. We're taking on the Phillies next round of the playoffs. Um... All right, so Kershaw cannot pitch here. So we're going to do, we're just going to bump him down to the three spot. And then we'll do that. So let's see how things go. We lose the first, win the second. All right. Game seven. This time we'll sim it. 
or yeah, we'll sim it. We won't quick manage it. We ended up winning anyways. And we're taking on the Yankees in the World Series. And we're down two. Oh man, we're facing elimination. So this time we'll quick manage this one because it is the World Series. Whew. I mean, we made it to the World Series. That's that's a that's an accomplishment in itself. Let's see how things go. Charlie Morton's on the mound for the Yankees. Okay. First and second one out. We're not able to take advantage of it. The Yankees lineup looks, you know, standard Yankees lineup. And they take the lead early on. Okay. A double. Can we get this run in? First and second one out. Man, that's that might be, you know, something we, we remember as a potential not, not scoring. Like, not scoring on that opportunity. But we do tie it up which isn't bad, which is actually pretty good. We, we tied it up. So first and second, no outs here. We get a run back. Base is loaded. Let's take that sack fly and let's let's make it a two-run game. Oh, they got Josh Bell. I didn't even realize they had Josh Bell. Okay, so the Yankees added Josh Bell. That's a scary addition in itself. If you guys missed my Yankees rebuild, go watch it. It was actually a really good one. So Kershaw's pitching very well. He's only at half stamina through six. So we're going to probably let him go at least one more. Um, as I say that, he allows the game-tying home run. So, he's done for sure. And now we're in a tricky spot. Dylan Floro's coming in. And he gives up the lead. Oh, man. We're going to lose. <sighs> Just as I say, he was doing really well. He was. And Kershaw was doing well. I mean, he wasn't pitching bad. We got a playoff MVP and Co Cody Bellinger had a really solid playoff MVP. Oh man, he he was doing well. We just we just kept him in for a little bit too long. So season one, not too bad. Let's get into the offseason. See how things look. Any exclusive negotiations. Rich Hill did retire, so I mean kind of expected. But exclusive nego negotiations. Um negotiations. Ryu, I'm gonna do a one year deal. He usually takes a low a low amount anyway. Seven and a half is not bad. This guy, you know, looked really good for us. So you know what? Let's do a two-year deal. He he was actually pretty solid for four four mil a year. Not bad at all. So we need a backup catcher since Russell Martin's not coming back. Um, arbitration wise, everybody on this list besides Scott Alexander did quite well. So we'll probably bring him back. Justin Grimm, we didn't get to see, but stats are okay. We'll, we'll probably just we'll do it anyways. We'll just give everybody arbitration since it's not going to be that much and contracts oh yeah definitely everybody so i'll see you guys at season two Alrighty, season two this is how we're looking um these guys were from the draft you guys remember them they, they actually look amazing they actually look like some really solid pickups for us uh let's see let's see let's see martin maldonado is gonna be our backup catcher this year behind austin barnes that was one addition to the squad darius sisk is one draft pick from uh last year same with tommy aristi and then we also signed uh, this guy's 65 overall B potential in free agency. He's got some pop off the bat for sure. This guy's C potential, 74 overall. Could be a decent little platoon player for us in the future. And then Christian Villanueva is going to sign. Going to kind of be like our backup third baseman. Kind of like David Fries was last year. So let's take a look at the squad. Um, not much has changed in terms of the lineup. Chris Taylor's still at second base. I actually just made him a second baseman. But... Um, Really just Christian Villanueva and Martin Maldonado as the new bench bats. And looking at the pitching rotation, we're going to give Julio Urias that chance at the starting rotation. See how he does here. Um, everything else is the same. Um, besides JT Chargua is in the bullpen now rather than uh, Julio Urias who was there. Uh, but since we lost our starting pitcher, we're going to give Urias that starting spot. So the rotation is not as strong, obviously. But uh, we'll see how this season goes. I think, you know, we didn't get too much better. But I feel like with the way we performed last year, we should be able to do it again. Um, plus, we're going to get a lot of growth in the squad. And we're going to have some money to play with after this season for sure. So we're definitely going to have a lot of new additions come next season. At the deadline for season two, we're going to strengthen the bullpen a little bit. JT Chargua isn't, isn't doing that great. We're going to add Josh Spores. What, what kind of name is that? Um, and Starlin Heredia for Brandon Brennan of the Mariners. His stats look pretty solid. Last two seasons so far, I mean, not too bad. Not too bad. We're going to see how he does uh, for us in the bullpen. Season two finishes. We were 106 and 56, taking on the winner of the wild card game. 
let's take a look. League leaders, Cody Ballinger and Corey Seager um, were league leaders for some certain stats. Hinjin Ryu looks pretty solid from what I just saw there. Awards, Cody Ballinger was the MVP. And also had a Hank Aaron Award. So let's go see. Um, let's start with the pitching rotation. Clint Kershaw, again, really solid year. Not too sure how with stats like this, you're not winning Cy Young. Like, it's just crazy. Walker Bueller, a better season than last year. Um, let's see. S similar, yeah, basically, yeah, it's just a little bit better than last year. Um, Ryu, not bad. Not bad, not bad at all. Giolito's up to an 86. He, he got better, which is awesome to see. That's what I wanted to see from him. You guys can see Urias. It's a 4 ERA, but he definitely should continue to improve. Ross Stripling did quite well in this long relief role. Caleb Ferguson, not so much. So we might move him out of that spot. Um, Alexander struggled. Baez, not, yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. Dylan Floro, pretty solid. Very good whip, 0.86. Brandon Brennan did quite well. And Rodas Vizcaino, not so much there. So maybe we move him into the bullpen. And then Kenley Jansen did well. Let's take a look at the lineup. Jock Peterson's up to a 90. And uh, from the leadoff spot, doing quite well. George Springer. Really good numbers. Really good numbers. Very similar to last year. Corey Seager put up very good numbers again. Over 300 average. Cody Bellinger. Whew, 43 home runs. 124 RBIs and over 300 average. Crazy. Unreal. Uh, again, Justin Turner's putting up really good numbers. You know, close to 300. Good home runs. Good RBIs. Can't complain about that. Max Muncy about 260. Um, so very similar to what he did last year. Verdugo hit 260 as well almost identical to what he did last year um, Chris Taylor's 86 it might be his last year here because we do have Drew Jackson on the bench and he's he's looking pretty good Austin Barnes I mean not too bad not too bad at all um, Drew Jackson's looking pretty good his hitting stats aren't there just yet but I think he'd be a really good second baseman for us so speaking of some prospects uh, we do got some pitching prospects that are quickly developing this is the guy we drafted damien st odd um we have another one down here i believe uh, aristi is a 65 bullpen we probably will need like one or two arms this offseason but this is where it gets interesting we got kbert ruiz who's a 76 and we got barney fisher who's a 75 both look like they could be ready by season three season four for sure so we're gonna have a little bit of a catching uh like challenge going on like a little competition going on so let's get into this uh, postseason we're taking on divisional opponent the Diamondbacks and we sweep them so that that wasn't too bad too bad at all uh, let's put let's put Kershaw there because he's 100% ready um, there we go I made that way more complicated than it should have been so keep going with it against the Phillies we swept them as well and we're doing uh, we're, we're taking on the Yankees again Let's see if this time we can get our revenge. Did it say Urias was pitching? Yeah, it did. All right, so let's cool. Let's let's uh move everybody back one, and let's let's see how this series goes. Last time they beat us, can we not get swept again? Oh my God! It's like the Yankees just just have our number, just have our number for sure. So, um, Kershaw's kind of tired. Let's see what Giolito can do against Eduardo Rodriguez. All right, first and second. All right, let's get the sack fly in. We take the early lead. So they got Park at shortstop. Um, who's they're part of their farm system? They got Marcelo Zuna and Akami at first base. Um, so tie game. That kind of sucks that we gave up our lead so early. So let's see if we can hold on to like this tie. Maybe you know get a get a lead. All right. So through four. Pretty quiet. What about the fifth inning? Can we do something there? No. All right. Sixth inning. There we go. Max Muncy gives us a two-run lead. Giolito's pitching well. Let's keep it going here. All right. Nothing happens there. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's get a run. We got one out. Max Muncy brings in another run. Makes it a three-run game. All righty. Giolito. Giolito's been pitching really, really well. Ooh, we're going to see if we can get second here. It's caught stealing, unfortunately. Um, Giolito is done, 100%. Uh, Jansen, please shut the door. Like, what? 
You can't write. Oh, man. Uh, like, I know I got greedy with Giolito, but come on. Justin Turner was a playoff MVP. Like, come on, really? Like, talk about, like, just unreal luck, right? Like, I understand. I got greedy with it, but Jesus. All right. Do we bring him back one more year? Like, his hitting stats are really good. Um, George Springer, I do want to do a two-year deal for. Uh, we can probably, we can, we can bring him down quite a bit. Which, I mean, at the age of 31, a two-year deal is not terrible at all. Uh, we still have Barnes. So we're going to let him go. Pedro Baez, how did he do it this year? He didn't do as great as last year, but we'll do like a, a one-year deal. Because he doesn't, he doesn't want too much. And then... Taking a chance here. We're going to go Ryu. How much does Justin Turner want? Too much. Too much. Sorry. Not, not going to do it. So let's get into the next negotiations. All right. Arbitration. Yeah, I mean, for the most part, everybody's going to get it. Not Singrani, though. He, he wants way too much money for arbitration. And then everybody's going to get a contract here. Start season three. We're trading Vizcaino, Scott Alexander, Matt Beatty for Wander Suero of the Nationals. Um... We're going to see how he does. I don't think I've ever traded for him before. I want to move Caleb Ferguson out of the long relief role. I want to just let um, Ross Stripling work from there. We only have one lefty in the bullpen, which is kind of an issue. Um, but I think we're going to leave it like that for now. Um, you guys can see the, the bullpen and stuff is basically at the same. Um, looking at the lineup, we did make an addition. Wilmer Flores is going to play third for us. Um, Justin Turner just wanted way too much. Um, that I just wasn't really willing to pay. Kbert Ruiz is going to start at catcher for us as well. I don't think we really made any other additions. A couple like free agents. No one like too crazy. I don't think any of them had like any decent potential. Most of them was just to fill the roster. Yeah. So Wilmer Flores. Um, we only signed one guy from the draft. 53 overall. He has like 77 potential. That's really about it. Um, I feel like we took a step back, which is a little disappointing. The starting rotation looks unreal. It looks really good. It's just, can the bullpen hold on? That's that's my biggest worry, the bullpen. Um, maybe find a lefty reliever. We do have an open spot. Anybody here with some decent stats? Doesn't really look like it. So if I can find a long reliever, we'll do it. If not, we'll start season three. All right, I was able to find a trade. We're going to go for Sean Newcomb of the Braves. Um, I tried to get Tuki Toussaint, but we're just a little bit off. And I'm not too sure if we need another righty. I feel like maybe going for the lefty um, in the bullpen is a little bit better. So we're going to trade Devin Mann, Andrew Tolls, who's sat in the minors anyways. He hasn't really played for us since we've started this. And Brock Stewart. One of our older uh, starting pitching prospects. So there's that. We're going to add Sean Newcomb to the, the bullpen. And that I think that's it. I think that's how we're going to leave it uh, for this season. Where is he? Is he? Oh, there he is. He's already in the major. So with that, it should be full lineup. Everything is going to be the same. Just Newcomb's added to the, the bullpen. So there it is. Season three. Let's see how Let's see how things go. Finishing the season 105 and 57, taking on the winner of the wild card again. League leaders hits for Corey Seager and Kershaw. Mostly, I saw Ryu was there as well. Awards, we got rookie of the year for Kiru Ruiz. So let's go take a look, see how things went. So looking at the lineup, Jack Peterson fell off a little bit. Um, I'm not too not too worried about it, maybe because he was in the leadoff spot. Corey Seager had a phenomenal year, hit above 300 again. 31 home runs, 99 RBIs, his best offensive season. George Springer still putting up good numbers, which is good to see. Cody Bellinger, um, not as good as previous seasons, but still solid. Max Muncy dipped a little bit, but still the offensive production was there. Wilmer Flores was okay. Um, obviously not as good as his last two seasons, but uh, for a one-year deal, I'm not going to freak out. We still had a very good year. Drew Jackson has been pretty solid for us. 
And then Chris Taylor had a bounce back year, like one of his best offensive seasons um, in his career. So it's kind of like, do we pay him or do we let Drew Jackson take over? It's it, I'm not too sure just yet. Kiba Ruiz looks like our catcher. Um, I know we have Barney Fisher, but it looks like Kiba Ruiz is the man for sure. Like he just, he looks like he's that guy. So Clayton Kershaw, very solid season once again. His, his contract expires this year, so we're probably going to bring him back anyways. Walker Bueller, very, very solid. Ryu, solid as per usual. Urias, not so much. I'm not too sure why, but like his stats aren't bad. I just don't understand why he's not doing well. And Lucas Giolito, very solid season. I think this is his best season of his career. Oh, no, last season was, but still very, very good. Um, Newcomb, yikes. <laughs> uh, let's see how everybody did. Floro did very well. Baez did well. Ferguson, not too bad. Um, Suero, not too bad. And then Jansen. So they sent someone down. Who did they send down? Brennan. Why did they send him down? Because he had a 5 ERA. Can we send him up to the majors? We can. So we're going to. We're going to bring him into the playoff roster. So let's get into it. Um, I don't think really any prospects shot up too much. Dennis Santana a little bit. Dustin May. St. Odd. Okay, so we got a couple that did. A couple that did for sure. Uh, let's see, see, see. Gavin Lux, 68. Sawyer is a 72. But, okay, okay, okay. So let's see. How are we going to do against the Phillies? Oh, we have, we got to send somebody down. Who are we going to send down? Probably Verdugo, huh? Yeah, I don't think Verdugo's making the cut. Unfortunately. He's just not making the cut this time. So, let's see how it goes. We got eliminated first round. Alright. So, two playoff, two World Series appearances we lost. And then we lost first, first round this time. So, like I said... I did feel like we kind of took a step back a little bit. So we're really, I really want to spend money this year. The issue is we're going to have to, we're going to have to spend money to keep a couple players like Kershaw, Jansen. Um, those are the two main ones. Um, how much is he wants? He's just, he's just been so good. Um, what if we make a, I think he takes a two-year deal. You know what? Let's do this. We're gonna we're gonna offer it that Kenley Jansen, two years. We'll do that. Chris Taylor. He had his best year by far, but we have that other guy who can play second base. So we're gonna let him, we're gonna let him walk. Um, Baez. How did Baez do? He had like another really good year, right? One-year deal, one-year deal. One-year deal, and then Ryu, we're going to let walk. We're going to see what's available. So, let's keep going. Let's see what we got here. Arbitration, definitely going to be offered to, like, everybody there. Contracts-wise, everybody's going to get a contract as well. All right, so season four, we made some moves. Carlos Correa has joined us. He's going to be playing shortstop. We moved Corey Seager over to third um, and I think this, that's going to be a great little like shortstop third spot. We brought in Mike Moustakis to kind of fill like a second base, maybe a platoon spot if he doesn't do too well. We brought him in for a year um, just because we needed an extra bat. Might as well bring him in. Um, and I think that was it. Um, Dan Bryson was a player we drafted. 64 overall. He's got like mid-70s potential. Quint, Quentin Anderson is... Uh, the mid 80s potential i want to say 85 potential um 72 overall looks looks decent for a closing pitcher i don't know if he'll feature but it's definitely a possibility so when we look at the lineup now it looks nice we got seager correa springer bellinger we got we got quite a bit of lefties though um so that that may <laughs> might be an issue down the line but we'll we'll have to wait and see uh, anybody hit righties? Well, Verdugo does. We'll just keep it how it is. But yeah, as you guys can see the lineup. It looks it looks good. 
It, it really does. I, I like it a lot. We do have a lot of righties, like I did say, but oh well. I'm not going to freak out about it. Kershaw came back. Um, I think we did a two-year deal, so he'll stay for the whole rebuild. We brought Rio in just because nobody else really looked um, like good. There really wasn't someone I w wanted to pay. I think it was just Syndergaard as the top pitcher, and... I figured let's keep Kershaw, and then next season, if we need to, we can find somebody else. But the bullpen looks solid still. Um, I have faith in it. Let's get into season four, and I'll see you guys if we make any moves. Alrighty, Dylan Floro is really struggling this year. Everything's going down. Um, a six ERA, which sucks because like he's been very, very consistent. Um, but yeah, he's just he's just struggling. He's struggling this year. So we're gonna go for. Emilio Pagan of the Rays similar rating a year younger. We'll see how it goes um, They're they're basically it's just like a, a like swap for the reliever We're gonna send Dylan Floro back to Tampa Bay. I believe I believe he's been there before Yeah, so that's the only trip we're gonna be making at the deadline for season four Let's finish up the season already 95 and 67. We're taking on the Pirates in the division series We won our division again league leaders Corey Seager and Jack Peterson no awards this year. Lineup wise, Corey Seager did very well in the leadoff spot. 36 homers. Okay, 84 RBIs, 300 average. George Springer, a little bit of a down year. Um, we'll see if there's a better center fielder available. If not, we'll probably bring him back for at least one more season. Correa. Oh man, Correa is going to be a really good pickup for us at shortstop. Cody Bellinger, still doing really good numbers. Amazing numbers. Max Muncy, still doing well. Um, Jack Peterson's dipped the last two seasons, which kind of sucks, but he's still putting up good offensive numbers. So I guess I can't be too um, concerned about it. Mike Moustakis, a little low, but we'll work around it. Barney Fisher didn't really hit well this year at all. Kiebert Ruiz dipped a little bit from last season, but pretty similar in terms of home runs and RBIs. We'll take a look at the pitching rotation. Kershaw, unreal. Um, Walker Bueller, same thing. Very good numbers. Ryu is just... He is a low, like, he's just, he's cheap to pick up. He's always got a low contract. He's a really good pickup for any time, like any, any rotation. Uh, Giolito struggled a little bit this season. Um, Urias did as well. Newcomb, it's just, it doesn't look like he's really panning out in that spot. And then everybody else looked okay. Brennan's a little high, but overall, not too bad. Let's take a look at some of our pitching prospects. Dustin May. I don't know if I could get him in next season. Um, he doesn't look too bad, but no one really stands out just yet. Uh, maybe we got Rick, Ricky Ernst. I think he was a second season draft pick. He's not too bad. He could be our backup third baseman next year. Gavin Lux. Um, but yeah, that's about it. So yes, I mean players don't look too bad. It looks like the team did well um, Just something didn't click this season. So going against the Pirates We're gonna advance we're gonna be taking on the Braves. Let's move around a little bit. So we gotta uh, Move everybody around. Let's see anybody struggle. No, not really. So let's get into it the Brave series all right, we moved on, and we're taking on the Royals. No, wait, the Royals are the Yankees, and again, we're taking on the Yankees. Really, we just can't escape the Yankees in the World Series. So, what is this? Game six, we're facing elimination. At least we didn't get swept this year. You know, we were down 0-2. I was kind of worried we were going to face elimination. So, let's see what Kershaw can do against the Yankees. All right, so let's look at the team. They got Jorge Bonifacio. That's new. Brian Goodwin. Anthony Volpe's started for them now. Lead off dub. Really? 3-0 to start. Just come on. We, we just The Yankees are just our kryptonite. Just can't get by them, which sucks. Come on, guys. We, we need some runs. Let's help out Kershaw. Just that first inning's been an issue. That was it. First and second. Okay. One out. Come on. Bases loaded. Come on, Ruiz. I need you here. At least one run came in. Okay. All right. We, we got it down to a two-run game. Okay. Now it's back to a three-run game. A double. Okay. Bellinger, please. 
when you got Mike Ford taking you deep, you know something's wrong. You know what I mean? All right, so that was his last inning, which is crazy that he went eight innings and allowed five runs. But can we do this? Pinch hit. Do we got a righty that can, like, smack lefties? I trust him. I trust him. He got on. All right. Maybe pinch run. We got somebody with some speed. Doesn't look like it, really. Um, We'll leave him. Come on, Seager. Come on. A single first and second. George Springer, please. Come on, we need you here. One scored. All right, Correa. Another scored. Bellinger. Ties it up. Are you serious? All right, pitching change. Uh, let's go with... We got righty, lefty, righty. Let's go with... Uh, Suero. Perfect. There we go. Come on, Peterson against Chapman. Uh, yeah, we'll just do it. A walk. All righty. Ruiz walks first and second for Muncy. Strikes out Seager. Bases loaded. Come on, give me the sack fly. That's one run. Perfect. Bases are loaded again. That's fine. Pitching change. Kenley Jansen. Kenley Jansen. Are you kidding me? Really? All righty. Um... Bring Mustakas. Drew Jackson. Yes. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. All right. Uh, do we let Jansen do it again? He did it. Oh, my God. Are you serious? All righty. Game seven. Can we do it? Can we finally beat the Yankees in a World Series? Uh, Walker Bueller is going to take the mound. 0 for 7. We're taking on a what? A righty. Mustakas is playing. Uh, I guess we'll we'll leave it. All right, let's see. All right, that's not a good start. Offensively, at least. There we go. Bellinger gets the early lead. <sighs> really? All right, we get a double. Okay. And we can't take advantage of that leadoff double. Really. All right, only one run scored. All right, fifth inning. Come on. All right, that's a, there's a run. Oh, my gosh. There's someone on. Come on, somebody. Sixth inning. Is this our inning? No, double player. Solid. All right. Seventh. Is this going to be our inning? No. All right, Bueller's tired. We're going to bring in. Let's go. Let's go Brennan. Perfect. All right. Come on, Mustakis against Chapman. He's got some speed, so I'm gonna say let's go to Villanueva. Um, he strikes out, strikes out, grounds out. All right, cool. I just let Brennan go again. Ninth inning. Come on, please, anybody, anything. That's a walk, okay? First and second. Bases loaded, please. Yes, tie game. Bases loaded for Villanueva. Um. I trust them. Oh, God. All right. Pitching change. We're not going to let him go again. We're going to go to Pagan. One, two, three, and imperfect. All righty. Fisher. Ruiz gets on. Seeger. Double play. Seriously. All right. Come on. Somebody. Uh. Pinch runner. Really? First and second. Oh, uh, geez. Uh, swear. I'll come in. Fielder's choice, okay. Uh, pitching change, let's go to a lefty. Who do I trust more, Ferguson? Lefty, lefty matchup. The Yankees have beaten us three straight times. Are you kidding me? Let me guess, another playoff MVP, Cody Bellinger. Oh my God. Three straight times. <sighs> like the CPU is better than I am. Like they got the Yankees. All right, so Ryu's gone. Um, stripling. If it takes a year deal, I'll do it. That's yeah, fine. Uh, Max Muncy, let's do this. Let's, let's go a year. 12 mil, though. Whatever. We'll do it. Pedro Baez will leave. And we're going to let everybody walk.
All right, so if you guys really paid attention there, you guys saw that I backed out on accident uh, when I was trying to just back out of negotiations with the player and move forward. And of course, I, d I wasn't saved up to that point. Like, I'll, I'll, I'll show you guys like me backing out and then me re-entering so you guys can see like where I re-enter and then um, we'll hop back to where I'm speaking now. You guys see, of course, when I'm not controlling, the CPU wins a, a World Series title. So, didn't happen, all right? It didn't happen. So, negotiations, we're just going to go stripling. Um, we're going to test the rest of free agency. See how that goes. All right, Kershaw took his option. Okay, cool. Um, let's see here. Everybody should get arbitration here. Maybe not Villanueva, because we have somebody that can step in for that spot. Contract-wise, everybody's going to get a contract. So you guys start a Season 5. We, we got to do something. Of course, I can't win a World Series by myself, but the CPU can. Season 5, we're going, like, all out. And we made some big signings. Jose Barrios joined us on a, a pretty big contract, $31 million a year. Um, we also brought up Quinton Anderson, one of our closers, um, just because we kind of needed an extra arm. Um, so yeah, and we couldn't, there really weren't any good ones available that I wanted. We signed Byron Buxton, um, to play center field for us. We also did bring back George Springer as kind of like a platoon outfielder, just cause he's still got a little bit of pop off the bat. Another big addition, Josh Bell. Whoo, we, we got a squad now. We definitely got a squad here. Um, Contracts in the future are definitely going to be an issue. Definitely going to be an issue, but oh boy. Um, the squad is unreal. Crazy good. Like, just, whew. Uh, we brought up Ricky Ernst. He's got some decent, you know, decent hitting stats. We brought in Derek Dietrich as well. He might be a player I look to move at the deadline because there is a player I'm kind of interested in bringing up, and that is the left fielder, Jack Sawyer. Look at those power numbers. I bet, I bet he hits bombs. Um, he's definitely a player I'd look to bring up as, um, so we'll see. But for now, season five, let's get into it. Deadline, we're getting a, another arm. Trevor Hildenberger of the Twins uh, looks really solid. Having a good season as well. He's had a pretty good um, entirety of this rebuild, basically. We're trading away Dietrich. He's hitting very poorly. And Daniel Corsino. Um, that means we're bringing up that, that outfield there for sure. So... Looking at the bullpen now, we're going to send Quinton Anderson down just because he's 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 not ready just yet. Um, he, he hasn't been having a, a terrible year, but he's, he's, he's not ready yet. So, um, yeah, I feel like it's, it's this guy's time. Jack Sawyer, he's coming up to the bigs. So, yeah, that's that's the squad. Not much has changed. Um... Let's, let's see how things go. Let's see how things go. I feel like we should still have a good good year for sure. I mean, we, we're having a good year, but I feel like this is the year. I feel like this is the year. Alrighty, it's playoff time. 104 and 58 taking on the winner of the wild card. League leaders, Carlos Correa. Byron Buxton had the most steals, but Carlos Correa had a great offensive season. Looks like Clint Kershaw and uh, Walker Bueller had some good years. Correa won the triple crown. Okay. All right, a Silver Slugger, the MVP, a Hank Aaron Award, and then Corey Seager won the um, Gold Glove. So let's look at the pitching first, and then we'll definitely take a look at Carlos Correa's season. Walker Buehler, whoo, solid numbers, unreal numbers. Kershaw, his worst year, and it's still like unreal numbers. Um, Jose Barrios is okay. Wish it was a little bit better. Same with Urias. And Lucas Giolito's having a, a good season. I like I like those numbers. Newcomb's finally fi like figuring out this long relief role. I like it. Ross Stripling, pretty solid still. Ferguson is okay. Brennan's looking good now. Okay. Hildenberger did well. Pagan did all right. Suero and Jansen. Hmm. Good thing this is his last season. We may need to look for a new closer in the future. Seager. Seager had a great year. 329, 32 home runs, 94 RBIs. Solid. Buxton hit about 260, which is what he does, um, which isn't too bad. Carlos Correa, 365, 58 home runs, 135 RBIs. Oh my God. He's 
unreal. Cody Ballinger had a great year as well. Josh Bell had a good year. Jack Peterson, okay. What I expect of him now. Um, George Springer starting to fall off. Drew Jackson, this is what Drew Jackson does, about 240. Um, Kubert Ruiz, I mean, those hitting stats, you would think he'd do a little bit better, but I'm not going to freak out about it. And then you guys can see, I mean, too bad, not too bad, not too bad. Let's take a look at some of our prospects. We definitely have some coming up, like you guys can see here. We're, we're set, so once Kershaw leaves, we're, we, we're good. We're 100% good on pitching prospects. Um, Quentin Anderson could be our closer if we really wanted to. Since we're kind of low on cash now that we made all those big signings, definitely would probably use the prospects. So let's get into it. Taking on the Rockies, and we face elimination, of course. Like, it's like real life. Like, the, the, the Dodgers just can't win that World Series. What was it, 1988? It's the last time. So let's see how things go. Taking on Dodgers, or not the Dodgers, the Rockies. So, okay, that's a good start. Um, let's take a look at their their team. Jake Bowers is new. Soler, Soler is new. Um, but pretty standard Rockies team outside of that. Let's see how things... Ugh, tie game, really. Barrios, Correa. I'm expecting big things from Correa since he just destroyed the, the season. Just absolutely killed it. So, double play. That's good. We got to walk. Can we bunt him over? We do. All right, cool. All right, so far so good. Come on, there's a there we go. That's good. A double play. That's not good. A double run scored. Perfect. Two run lead. Holding on to it. Pitching change. Okay. We're gonna let him go one more. That's it. That he's done after seven. That's good. Walk. A fly out. First and second for Jackson. Ah, I can't deliver this time. So we're gonna bring in our setup man Suero. I swear to God. Thank God. All right. A walk. A pinch hit here. Going against a righty. Let's, let's just try it out. Let's see what he's got. An error. Okay. Correa. Fielder's choice. Two run score. Seager. Okay. Oh, yeah. That's what we needed. That's what. Oh, yeah. It's getting it's getting nice now. And then we'll save. Uh, What's his face? Jansen since we got a seven run lead now. And Caleb Ferguson gets us out of it. There we go. So it's all tied up, I believe. No, it's not. All right, now it's all tied up. That was, whew. Maybe I should just sim it, you know? Maybe that's what I need to do. We're gonna go Walker Bueller on the mound here. See how things go. All right, base is loaded with no outs. He gets out of it. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. All right. So. A triple sack fly perfect all right so there we go get the early lead a double Walker Bueller with the double two run score Cody Bell Cody Ballinger's on fire in this series um, Walker Bueller swinging a hot bat Correa not so much Correa has been kind of quiet this series um, all right he's done it's through six that's that's all we need from Bueller um, let's go to, let's go Brennan. All right. So far, it's, it's getting a little dicey now. It's getting a little dicey. We're going to pinch hit. Let's go Springer. Pops up. Correa. There we go. I was saying Correa has been kind of iffy. And what does he go and do? It gets us a home run. Double play. Perfect. All right. There's a walk. Another walk. We need a run. One more run would be perfect. Unfortunately, we don't do it. Jansen, don't let me down. Perfect. Perfect. All right. Going to the Cubs. We're not going to let Walker Bueller pitch. So let's go. Boom. Boom. Yeah, let's do that. And let's see how things go. Going against the Cubs. Uh, okay. Uh, all right. That's cool. Um get eliminated unfortunately and i felt like i felt like simming might might have been the move since you know we, we were having some luck unfortunately we're not making it so let's see how it finishes who's gonna win it the cubs defeat the rays so unfortunately nothing happened there let's take a look see how things went um i mean not terribly 
some players kind of let us down but overall the team looks really good obviously budget's gonna be a big big thing but with kershaw leaving you got you know plenty of good prospects coming up that can fill that spot um and then when you look at the budget you know like kershaw's leaving Ooh, bellinger that's gonna be a tough one bueller's gonna be a tough one but he's leaving too so i mean bellinger is gonna take kershaw's spot um oh this i mean peterson has been struggling lately but yeah you're definitely in some some uh budgetary constraints there so um yeah i mean the team is good i felt like we really should have won a world series unfortunately we couldn't each time the yankees defeated us like what are the chances that that happens three of the five years we just couldn't get the world series so unfortunately that's how it's gonna end guys i hope you guys enjoyed this dodgers rebuild if you did make sure you hit the like button down below subscribe if you're new and enjoy the content and in the comment section let me know which team you'd like to see next i, I can't believe it i really can't and then the one time that like i accidentally back out and then i sim through it what happens the cpu wins us the world series that's just i can't believe i just you know like i just uh all right i'll catch you guys all in the next video peace